Magandang gabi sa Pilipinas, beautiful people. I'm here in Manila in the Philippines with the intention to start some travel vlogging in the near future, starting right here in the Philippines. So, what I'm going to show you in this first episode is in fact how I got here, which was quite a journey from Germany, which took me about, well, roughly two days. This is what you're going to see next. Enjoy! Oh, 7.30 in the morning here in Germany. Freezing temperatures. I'm way too lightly clothed for this. Oh, I'm waiting for the bus. So I made it to Frankfurt airport, that means saying goodbye to Germany and it means saying goodbye to my trusty hat. Because this hat had one job only, to bring me to Frankfurt without freezing my hat off. And it has done its job very well, so it's now time to say goodbye. Goodbye trusty hat, goodbye. There are almost no seats behind the security checkpoint. So, this is where I'm sitting now. <laughs> actually, there are more seating options here, a lot more. It was just not obvious that it's actually possible to get in here. So everyone was reluctant to just enter this area. And so people are sitting in this playground area instead of, well, taking one of these seats. Now I have a lot of time, about an hour before boarding. But that is flying, a lot of waiting, but with a great view. Hello. <laughs> yep, thank you. This is actually pretty cool. I've never experienced displays in an A320. <coughs> and there are pillows and blankets, which is quite amazing. to get a full meal on a five-hour flight. That's not what I expected, but look at this. We've got a salad, chocolate mousse for dessert. This is just some water. We've got some salad dressing, butter, piece of cheese, some crackers, and uh, some kind of chicken with rice and onions. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So what's the verdict after the unexpected meal? Well, I gotta say, as, as nice as a surprise it was, it wasn't exactly spectacular. So the salad was, well, a mixed salad, right? The chicken, well, let's not talk about the chicken. I really had better, it was not great. But what actually saved the whole meal was the mousse au chocolat, which was fantastic. So, still got a th 
thousand kilometers left to go, about one hour and 22 minutes. This is the point where it starts to drag a little. Oh boy. And just as I was saying, uh, they were coming with tea, coffee, and a piece of cake. How amazing is that? We're flying over Iraq now. And I'm really wondering, just, just looking down at those illuminated cities, what is, what is life like down there? I have absolutely no idea. It's a part of the world I've never traveled so far. And probably won't for quite a while, because there are other targets. But it feels so weird to just fly across this wide area. But I'm actually heading somewhere else. And I have no idea what the lives of the people down there is really like. Oh well, maybe some other day. Thank you, bye bye. So, I made it to Kuwait Airport. And it's actually smaller than I expected for such an important connection point between so many places in the world. But it has a few food stalls, has a lot of shops, obviously, but not much more, actually. So I have to figure out how to kill four hours here until boarding time for my flight to Manila. Oh well. Still about 40 minutes until boarding. Right now I just want to get on the plane and go to sleep. I've started to walk around just to not fall asleep right now because I'm not sure if I would wake up and I don't want to miss the plane. Finally. Good evening, hello. Good morning. Well, actually, good morning here, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to the back. Thank you. Good morning, good evening, and anything. Straight to the back? Hello! <laughs> Hello! I made it to my seat and I'm super happy because I realized this is very close to an emergency exit. And sometimes in some planes that means the row behind that actually doesn't have a window. It's a window seat but it doesn't have a window so I'm super happy that I have one. <laughs> This is actually the first time for me being in a super wide aircraft since, I don't know, 25 years. I think the last time was when I was a teenager and was visiting relatives in the US. So super cool to fly a big plane again. time for sleeping. We got food immediately. <laughs> Similar to last time but I took pasta instead of chicken. Let's see if this is a better choice.
Bye bye. So I made it out of the airport. Got my luggage. Got free immigration. Wow. So the first time actually standing inside of the Philippines. It's amazing. So I have three more things to do here. I need to exchange cash. I need to get a SIM card for the Philippines. Ideally already here. And then ideally also uh, extend my visa. So apparently I made the mistake of exiting the airport way too soon. So it seems you cannot go in again. At least not from here. And it seems like something like uh, SIM cards and visa extension is inside the airport building. So I have to figure out if there's some other way to get back in or I have to take care of that stuff in the city. Which would be annoying. Ah! Made it back in for security. Great. <laughs> Just had my first little experience here. So, uh, the person that told me that for the visa extension I need to go to Terminal 3. So a different terminal on the airport. Now, I asked some guy outside how I can get there and then I was kind of maneuvered through a couple of people telling me I should take this specific taxi to Terminal 3. When I asked the price, they showed me it would cost 1800 pesos. That is, let me, let me quickly check that. It's kind of like a thousand pesos is 16 euros. Okay, so they almost wanted to charge me something like close to 30 euros for a taxi to Terminal 3. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking for a different option and I'll probably just get a grab. That's what I plan to do. That's probably a little bit cheaper, probably significantly cheaper. As it turns out, there's a free shuttle bus to Terminal 3. So, be aware. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, the taxi would have been faster. I have to give them that. Thank you, Paul. That was a long bus ride just to switch terminal. First experience with the madness of Manila traffic. Look at that. Crazy stuff. And done with the visa extension. Whew. So I have everything now. The only thing left is to somehow get to the hotel. BGC or is BGC somewhere else? Uh, the right side. To the right side, okay. My madame in Cochis are Manila, huh? Yeah. <laughs> first time? Yeah, first time. Trying to learn a little bit of Tagalog, but it's hard. <laughs> Hindi ako masyadong nakakaintindi. <laughs> Ba't nakakasalita? Nakakapagsalita? <laughs> so, I finally arrived and got into my hotel room. Which is so amazing. Could have done it live, but I really didn't want to at that point. I just wanted to take a shower and that's what I did, change clothes. So, let me give you a brief tour. This is actually a pretty damn nice room. Now, of course, it doesn't have a window. There's no outside window, which is a bummer. I really like to have that. But apart from that, it is nicely furnished. It is clean. Um, it looks aesthetically okay, even though the mixture of, of the wood optics with the graffiti is an interesting choice. 
And then the bathroom is a very modern, very modern one. Everything supplied, towels, shampoo, even uh, toothbrushes, toilet, of course warm water in an establishment like that. And this is what you get in Manila for around 30 euros per night. Try to get something like that in Europe. Good luck. <laughs> so I'm heading out, exploring the neighborhood a little bit, um, finding a 7-Eleven, buying water, buying something to eat. And that's probably about it. And then I'm just going to go to sleep.